Okay, this is a Harman Kardon TU-910 linear phase stereo AM FM tuner. What does linear phase mean? I have no idea. All I know is from the looks of it that it's basically a superhead. And um, for those of you who don't know what a superhead receiver is, I you can probably find videos of people that will explain it a lot better than I can. But you have a... Uh, you have an oscillator generating an RF frequency locally that's so many cycles above your desired frequency and you mix them together and it allows you to obtain your desired frequency at a much lower frequency that's easier to amplify because back when they were doing all this, uh, it wasn't easy to amplify AM band signals. Um, so one thing about this tuner I've noticed it uses an LA-1245 high-performance AMIC, and this, this basically has all of the IM tuner functions. It had the local oscillator and the mixer and the IF detector is and, and all of that. Um, normally, in, in, in an AM radio that doesn't have a chip, we could do what we're going to do by clicking on to the emitter of the oscillator transistor. Luckily, this chip, even though it has an internal oscillator, provides on pin 20 a buffered oscillator output. Um, the buffering is important because it isolates your frequency counter from the oscillator itself, which, you know, the simple loading of the wire would cause it to change oscillation and would throw your tuner off. Um, so that's clipped into our six-digit frequency counter which I'm going to drop back down to 100 Hertz accuracy because this this is not a very stable oscillator uh, I pre-programmed the IF offset to 450 kilohertz um, our oscillator runs exactly 450 kilohertz above our tuned frequency and this allows me to lower the desired frequency so as you'll notice, I'm going to run the band, the dial, all the way over as far as it'll go, and I'll power it up, and you can see we instantly we were jumped right at 507 kilohertz, and as typical of many analog tuners, your ranges are a little bit different. But it, quite simply, it's reading the local output, so as I move the dial, you can see the change in the oscillator frequency, and it's being adjusted so we get the true readout so that would be you know am 700 and you know this would be am 930 and um you know getting a digital readout on a strictly pure analog tuner there's there's no digital circuitry in there it's a uh four or five gang uh tuner and whole bunch of stuff. It does have a whole lot of discrete components for the FM section. That That's going to be a complicated thing and I don't have the tools to do that. I don't even have the sweep generator to align this thing yet. But um, still, if, if, you, um, if you do any kind of AM DXing and uh, you, you hate having the limitation of a digital tuner, this is a really cool thing you can add on because now you know exactly where you are without having to deal with not being able to fine tune because especially with this tuner I've noticed and maybe the IF is off I, some frequencies come in a little or some signals come in better offset a little bit but that's weak signals as well so but uh, yeah this is this is just one of the many cool little things I can do with uh, with my counter as I get up here to there's a local station on 1460 you'll see the the thing just starts locking instantly and it's I have somewhat of an antenna it's uh, clip leads and some wire but um there's another local station here that kind of comes in but anyway it's just something I wanted to show I thought it was just really cool that I could just put this into a circuit and take some of my old dial tuners and get digital tuning on them. I can't do FM unfortunately. When I switch to FM it turns off because I'm plugged into the AM chip and uh, the FM IF on this is 10.7 megahertz so I would need a tuner or a counter that would register 98 to 118 in order to be able to do FM. So 
I'll be getting one of those 2.4 gigahertz models here at some point in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, this is just a little, this is just digital readout of an analog tuner. Nothing special, nothing that uh, ham guys haven't looked at and gone, oh, I've done that. In fact, you guys have probably bought a couple of these for this exact purpose. And this is not why I bought it, but hey, it's here and uh, I can play with it. So, check you later.